Steve Hoke is the president of Diesel Emission Service. They manufacture the Redline Emissions product line of after-treatment replacement products. And I had a chance to sit down with Steve and talk about the historical challenges that the trucking industry has had with these regulation changes and the impact it's had on diesel engines as manufacturers have been mandated to reduce emissions. Yeah, so when you have a a class of vehicle that you've run for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, and never had specific segments of your engine other than adjust the valves or change your air cleaner or service points, change how you operate your fleet, um, not only in downtime, but in costs, um, truckers get upset, fleets get upset. It's, it keeps driving more um, cost to every mile that they drive. I think the biggest thing that we see is a lot of the maintenance, uh, we always talk about this, the maintenance with the OEMs tell people are like the most perfect conditions and we all know that real world isn't a perfect condition. You know, from the diesel particulate filter side, uh, a DPF is basically, it catches soot, catches a particulate matter, but it's it's done by volumetric efficiency. So you have a round can and as you fill it with ash, so all the burnt or oxidized uh, soot that's now ash, it takes away the volumetric efficiency, creates more back pressure, which then start wearing on all those other components. The VGT turbos don't like it, the valve trains don't like it, the valve guys don't like it. So everybody blames the DPF, but because fleets were led to believe that they could go 250, 300,000 plus miles before servicing them. Truthfully, that was that was not good on the OEM's part. They should have, the diesel particulate filter is just like an oil filter, costs a lot more, but it is a serviceable item that, that the fleets themselves should figure out what is their best um, number, 50,000, 75,000, or 100,000 mile uh, service interval and, and, and then stick with that. 